Let's get some. Stand by to get some. <laughs> hey everyone, my name's Eric Melton. I'm here with my good friend Brad Stinson. What up, man? We're both fellow Marines and we're doing myth busting with Marines. Ooh, myth busting with Marines. All right. Well, today's myth is not really a myth, it's a benefit. What is it? No PMI. There's no PMI on the VA home loan. What is PMI? It's private mortgage insurance. Any loan program out there, you put down under 20%, so conventional FHA, you put down under 20%, you're gonna pay this lovely thing called mortgage insurance. What is mortgage insurance? Mortgage insurance is insuring a lender that if a buyer defaults or forecloses, that this insurance is gonna kick in and help offset the costs. All right, so with the VA home loan, there is no PMI, all right? How does this work with the VA home loan? Yeah. Oh, that's where the VA home loan guarantee program comes from. Veterans, pay attention because you're not guaranteed a loan, all right? You're, this, the VA guarantee loan program is stating that because a veteran was willing to die for this country, answered the call, right? We did. Hello? Right. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> yes, I will defend this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Will you? I yes, I will. Yes, Semper Fi, let's roll out. All right, mm -hmm. so this is stating that the VA will guarantee a lender 25% of the original loan balance in the event of default or foreclosure. That's where the VA home loan guarantee program comes from, all right? Now, fun fact, straight from the VA lender conference of last year, uh, VA home loan default rate is at, had an astronomical low of 0.92%, 0.92%, which is amazing, all right? Versus conventional, which is at almost five, and FHA, which is well over 10. So that stat right there is tells me that as a lender, if I give money to a veteran to purchase a home, that I am 99.08% likely to receive an on-time payment every month, each and every month for the duration of the loan. And if not, the VA is gonna pay 25% to me as a lender in the event of default or foreclosure. Whoa, that's phenomenal. Yeah. All right, but how does PMI affect you as a buyer? That's well, the more important part. We pull some stats because we like to be accurate. We want to give and good we're, information. We're, we're nerdy stats guys, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. <it's a> <laughs> um, so West Michigan, the average sale price is around $170,000. So PMI fluctuates depending on the sale price of the home. And to, to tell us what that is per month. What is so that? PMI, if you had to pay PMI each month, that equivalents at $170,000 purchase price. It equivalents out to $120 per month. $120. Per month in mortgage insurance. Yes. Whereas the Quite VA big. home loan does not require the PMI payment. All yeah. right. So that $120 can be offset into your monthly payment, which increases your purchasing power. Right. What? I think that number's around what 25 grand with 120 to be around there. Approximately. Around and there. It could be higher. It could be it's a lot of money. Um, but it's substantial amount of purchasing power, which bumps you into a new bracket, which is less buyers, which makes your offers look attractive as long as you have the right advocacy team. Yeah, it's it's a great benefit, guys. You need to use this. It's awesome. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us. If you guys have any questions, let us know. We're happy to help. But simplify and have a great day. Simplify.